There's a chill in the air that clings a little too tightly, whispering tales of the strange and the sinister. Wrap yourself tighter and join us for Chilling Tales by Top Thangs. Welcome to Chilling Tales 9, Tales of the Unseen, a journey into the depths of the mysterious and the uncanny. In this collection, we explore three distinct narratives, the reflections below, the whispers of Cold Harbor, and Frostbite, each unraveling the thin veil between reality and the unknown. If you are enjoying our Chilling Tales series, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. The Reflections Below The discovery of the subterranean lakes beneath the Pacific was a breakthrough that promised to redefine humanity's understanding of the deep sea. The team of marine biologists, equipped with the latest in underwater exploration technology, descended into the abyss with a sense of wonder and the thirst for knowledge. Their journey through the dark waters was a descent into a world untouched by time, a realm where the ocean's secrets lay hidden in the embrace of the earth. As they navigated the labyrinthine network of underwater lakes, they were struck by an awe-inspiring sight. A city, submerged and silent, a ghostly mirror of a civilization lost to the depths. The architecture of the city was both majestic and unsettling, its spires and arches contorting into shapes that defied architectural norms, as if molded by hands guided by an otherworldly aesthetic. The team's fascination turned to unease when they first glimpsed the figures moving through the city's streets. These apparitions, reflections of the divers themselves, mimicked their movements with uncanny precision, yet their expressions were twisted in a rictus of silent despair. The divers watched, mesmerized and horrified, as their doppelgangers beckoned to them, their gestures a silent plea to breach the boundary that separated their worlds. Driven by a mix of scientific curiosity and the human penchant for mystery, some divers succumbed to the lure of the city. They crossed the reflective barrier, only to find themselves trapped in a parallel existence, their bodies moving through the city's streets while their reflections took their place in the real world. The realization that the city was a predatory entity a trap that fed on the explorer's vitality and curiosity dawned too late on the team. The city, a liminal space between life and an existence as spectral shadows, had ensnared them in its ancient snare. Those who remained faced an impossible choice. Leave behind their colleagues, condemning them to an eternity in a watery purgatory, or join them, sacrificing themselves to the enigmatic whims of the city. The decision to seal the entrance to the subterranean lakes was made with heavy hearts. As the team ascended back to the surface, leaving behind their companions and the haunting city, they grappled with the weight of their loss and the knowledge of a mystery that was too perilous for mankind to unravel. The reflections below became a legend whispered in the halls of marine research facilities, a tale of discovery, loss, and the inscrutable mysteries that lurk in the uncharted depths of our world. The submerged city lay in wait, hidden beneath the ocean floor, its streets empty yet alive with the echoes of those it had claimed. In the world above, the survivors carried the burden of their experience, a reminder of the ocean's unfathomable secrets and the price of delving too deeply into the unknown. The Whispers of Cold Harbor Cold Harbor, with its picturesque streets and an air of antiquated serenity, held within its heart a secret that was as old as the town itself. The allure of its pastoral beauty belied the disquiet that murmured beneath the surface, a discordant undertone that resonated through the time-worn bricks and cobblestones of its historic center. The whispers, emanating from the shadows of the town's oldest buildings, were not merely figments of the imagination, but the murmurs of an ancient entity, a presence that had long entwined itself with the town's destiny. The newcomers, drawn to Cold Harbor's charm, were soon ensnared by the whispers that threaded through the town like a malignant melody. Each whisper was a siren song, crafted to ensnare the soul, promising the fulfillment of desires that lay buried within the human heart. As the townsfolk succumbed to these temptations, the fabric of Cold Harbor began to fray, its tranquility shattered by acts driven by the entity's insidious influence. Cold Harbor's history, chronicled in dust-laden tomes and whispered legends, spoke of a time when the town was a nexus of arcane practices, 
rituals performed under the cloak of darkness to bind a force that sought to rupture the veil between worlds. The entity, a malevolent consciousness that fed on human ambition and desperation, had been subdued but not vanquished, lying in wait for the opportunity to reclaim its power. As the entity's influence burgeoned, transforming the whispers into a deafening chorus that haunted the nights, a group of residents, bound by a shared resolve to reclaim their town from the brink of ruin, delved into the forbidden annals of Cold Harbor's past. Their search led them to a ritual, a key to silencing the entity, but at a cost that chilled their souls. A human sacrifice, but a life willingly surrendered to seal away the darkness. The decision to perform the ritual tore at the fabric of the community, a maelstrom of moral quandaries and existential dread. The question of who would make the ultimate sacrifice, who would lay down their life for the greater good, became a crucible that tested the bonds of friendship, love, and loyalty. In the end, it was a choice made not out of coercion, but of love, a sacrifice born of the understanding that some fates are more terrifying than death. As the ritual reached its crescendo, the entity's whispers were drowned out by a silence profound and absolute, a stillness that enveloped Cold Harbor like a shroud. The town, freed from the entity's grasp, returned to its former tranquility, but the echoes of the whispers lingered in the memories of its residents. The sacrifice made to silence them was a reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present shadows that lurk beneath the veneer of idyllic beauty. Cold Harbor, once again a haven of serenity, carried its history as a scar, a testament to the courage of those who faced the darkness and prevailed. The whispers of Cold Harbor became a tale whispered in hushed tones, a legend of a town that stood at the precipice of the abyss and pulled itself back, a story of sacrifice and salvation in the face of an unfathomable evil, frostbite. In the vast, desolate expanse of Antarctica, Prometheus stood as a lone sentinel amidst the unending white. The research station, a hub of scientific discovery, became a tomb of isolation as the blizzard severed it from the outside world. Within its walls, the crew unearthed a discovery that defied understanding, a vein of ice, ethereal and mesmerizing, pulsating with a light that seemed to breathe life into its frozen depths. The discovery of the organisms trapped within this otherworldly ice marked the beginning of a nightmare that would unravel the very fabric of their reality. These entities, dormant for eons, awoke in an alien world, far removed from the time and place of their origin. Their revival within the confines of Prometheus was a silent herald of the impending doom. As the crew worked to extract and study these samples, they unwittingly became hosts to an ancient contagion. The transformation was gradual yet grotesque. Their bodies became translucent, their veins a network of glowing light, mirroring the eerie luminescence of the ice. The infection, spreading through the simplest of contacts, turned them into harbingers of a frozen apocalypse, their humanity slipping away as the hunger for warmth consumed them. The station, once a beacon of human curiosity and endeavor, devolved into a battleground of survival and sacrifice. The uninfected crew members were torn between the instinct to flee and the knowledge that their escape could spell disaster for the world beyond the ice. The spreading contagion was not just a threat to their lives, but to the very order of the natural world. In the face of such an existential crisis, the crew's decision to remain was a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the darkest of times. The final log entries of Prometheus, a mixture of fear, determination, and resignation, detailed their plan to activate the station's self-destruct mechanism. The ensuing inferno would be a funeral pyre, an attempt to purge the world of the unearthly infection by sacrificing themselves to the flames. As the station imploded, engulfed by fire and ice, the fate of the crew and the ancient terror they had unleashed was lost to the howling winds of the blizzard. Prometheus, once a symbol of mankind's quest for knowledge, became a cautionary tale of the dangers that lie hidden in the unexplored corners of our world. The silence that followed the station's destruction was a haunting void, filled with questions left unanswered. The uncertainty of whether their sacrifice had indeed contained the threat lingered like a specter over the icy continent. 
In the annals of exploration and discovery, the tale of Prometheus and the frostbite contagion stood as a chilling reminder of the delicate balance between human curiosity and the unfathomable mysteries of our planet.